Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Minority Takes and today we're going to do something a little bit different because we are moving out and we're moving out to another place and another kitchen and it's time to say goodbye to the very first the Minority Taste Kitchen. Peter sweet, so stick around with me. We're going a little bit further away, just about two, three roads away. <laughs> But it's away from the hustle and bustle of the city life, you know? So, yeah, this, this is it. See? This is it. This is where it all happened. This is my studio kitchen where it all began and all happened. And <sighs> Thank you guys for everyone who was with me from the inception and my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. I gotta say bye to this kitchen though. <laughs> oh and also you guys, I'll be doing my videos from here on forwards a little bit different. I'll be doing it in a vlog style. And let me know if you guys like the show better or the vlog style better because, because to be honest, I can't get the videographer at home at the moment because of the whole social distancing. And uh, yeah, it's better safe than sorry. So. I'll be doing most of the videography myself. I'll be getting some help from my family. So, yeah, let's see how it goes, guys. Let's see how it goes. This used to be my room. In between the Dusitani Hotel. So, this is the Dusitani Hotel right there. And that's the hotel office. And we were. The building, the residence is just in between, so... It's literally 5 a.m. and there's so much to do! <laughs> Wish me luck! Jumbo tiger prawns Squid Fish Red mother to be precise So usually we have a table full of sweets for eat but Nobody's going to be coming this year, so it's just for us and maybe a, like, a helper who's coming in for the day, so that's it. Just some macaron and cashewnut baklava. Yum! We're supposed to wait for visitors, but no visitors, so... I'm allowed to have this. It's my energy before I start. Start making my platter. <laughs> it's, it's important to eat. Three days. Three days. Good luck. I know I should be in the kitchen starting my work, but. <laughs> Ta -da! Okay, so today I'm not going to be showing you a prawn recipe. I'm going to show you a recipe from the south of Sri Lanka. I know I share a lot of recipes from the south, and um, what I can say about that is uh, I will be cooking a lot of East Coast and Northern food too in due time so many recipes so many videos to do so little time so i'm going to show you guys a very very quick southern style stuffed squid one of my friends told me about this it was inspired after that so what you're going to take is you're going to clean your squid really well like this and I have made like a spicy potato 
um, stuffing with a lot of cashew nuts. I have boiled the potato and tempered it in onions and chilies and mustard seeds and everything like a spicy potato curry should have. And I have added a lot of cashew nuts as well, like crushed cashew nuts. You can have that on its own, so good. Take a teaspoon and take that stuffing in. Keep your finger in there and just carefully fill it up. the first thing first we're going to temper some sliced onions and some cinnamon in a little bit of oil and when that is turning pink we're gonna add one chopped tomato a lot of curry leaves and green chili just about two two green chilies sliced and let that Temper in that oil. Oh my god, it smells really good in here. So I'll be adding a little bit of chili powder. So let that chili absorb into the onions. I'm gonna put about one big teaspoon of turmeric. It has to smell more of turmeric. So when the turmeric is absorbed and you can get that beautiful turmeric smell, you to be adding one cup of thick coconut milk. Look how beautifully the colors are blending in. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. So mix that golden milk in with the onions into this I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt to your taste you have to be careful because this is just the sauce there's enough and more salt in the stuffing so be mindful of that about two and a half tablespoons of this magic powder for you guys you will have to get the dark roasted curry powder more about this dark roasted curry powder in a later vlog so stay tuned for that get a beautiful beautiful aroma and I'm gonna add a little bit of water Please add hot water when you're adding water meat cooking because if you add cold water to a curry while it's cooking, it's going to alter the taste. Give it a good mix and then I'm going to let it boil. It's bubbling up. Oh smells so good in here so we we'll lower the heat slowly and gently immerse the squid into the sauce I'm not gonna let the legs go to waste so just put the legs the tentacles There's that beautiful oils that has come out from the from our stuffing. You we'll add that as well. Nothing goes to waste. Now, if you feel like the curry is a little bit too thick, don't worry because liquid is gonna come out from the squid. Okay, and you shouldn't be co cooking it for too long because squid cooks really really fast and if you overcook it it's going to be rubbery and you're not going to enjoy it give it a little turn you can already see that it's plumping can you see it's like plumping up 
because it's cooking already there's a lot of liquid in here the sauce just doubled up you can check for the taste and salt right here close this and you're gonna let the sauce bubble up again so we're gonna switch off the gas good squeeze of lime just half a lime would do just add that and yeah and you're done and that is the recipe of the day okay I am done and dusted cooking for the day now it's time to assemble the savan or we call it sahen some people call it savan some people call it sahen but before we assemble I'm gonna take another quick wash because God knows that I need it <laughs> and we are ready ready to assemble the beautiful Eid Sahin come on <laughs> this is what you call a Sahin or a Savan in Sri Lanka basically it's a big platinum this is just the medium size one however the sahan or the sahan is a really big platter where about 10 or 12 people can sit and enjoy the meal together so that's the whole idea behind it it's it's bringing your family your community your friends your loved ones all together and you sit around and you eat it's it's a moment of love and sharing Everybody will be like, oh, this is just rice and curry in a big platter. It's the combination of it all, like put together. It's really delicious. This is called the Wambatu Moju. It's a very Sri Lankan dish, but it has Malaysian roots to it. Then you get the cashew and pea curry, which is authentic Sri Lankan. Then you get the potato, spicy potato stir fried. This is super Sri Lankan. And then we're gonna put the, our southern style stuffed squid onto the side. Take that gravy with all that stuffing, just pour it on top so that it looks so good. We're gonna put in our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and delicious tiger prawns. I have made a little bit of fried fish. I'm gonna put it in there. Crispy and crunchy fried onions and curry leaves. Just sprinkle on top for color and beauty and also for that flavor, you know. And there you go, Eid Mubarak to everyone around the world. I know it's a very, very difficult time, but we can make food at home, share it with our family and friends, or just share it with people at home that you love, and keep positive.